Hi everybody, this is Dutch at the Mystic Mountain Homestead. I'm going to ask you to take a second, like, and subscribe, and share the video at the end if you enjoy it. Okay, let's get into this. Today we're going to be talking about the Blue Eddy and how I have it hooked up myself, and some things you might not know about it. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go over here real quick. I got my Blue Eddy hooked up right here. The other one I had and blew up, and the, what the problem was with that is the um, AC unit for the RV was pulling too much power, and so I talked to them, and we met, emailed each other back and forth several times, and um, Helen is very helpful, thank you Helen, at tech support there, and what we got figured out is, is that I needed to order a soft start and attach it to the um, AC unit of the RV. So if you have a Blue Eddy, AC Max, or even AC 300, or ACP, or whatever that is, uh, the first one I believe it is, before the AC Max 200, um, you're going to have to have yourself a soft start unit for your RV AC unit. Right now, it's so hot outside, I'm happy you see the extension cord. I got the extension cord running over to the window over here. And I got it hooked up to the AC there. That's running, this is my dog's fence right here, invisible radius, shock collar. This is the TV. And then I also use this cigarette port, 10, the 12 volt DC, 10 amp, to charge batteries. You know, lithium ion batteries for other devices, flashlights and whatnot. I char charge my cell phone right here with the fast charging. Over here, we'll get into how I actually have it hooked up now. What I have going on over here, I have through the solar panel side, I have... I got like 900 watts, 900, and I think it's actually, let me think, three 450 watt solar panels hooked up to it. So that is, like what, 1300? I'm just doing some quick math there off the top of my head. It's like 1350, something like that on that side. But I usually get, it only gives you a, it's over paneling and you can over panel as long as you don't go over your voltage this my max voltage is 145 and this is 145 I haven't seen it go above 120 even right now as you can see it's at 106 108 volts and I am it's the shady part of the day now over here so I'm only getting 53 volts or watts on this other side I have another 450 watt solar panel hooked up it's getting zero watts right now because, like I said, it is. I think it's about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and I have some shade trees on the back side. There, there it goes. It flashed for a second. It got 16 watts for a second. <laughs> All right. And then over here, I got two B300s hooked up to it that go over here under the bed. And as you can see, I got just drilled some holes there, nice holes. I plan on running... Uh, let's see, five 200 watt solar panels to each one of these, a set of five. I can do um, 400 up here, 200 over paneling for the top part, and then down for the bottom part, I'm going to do another uh, three panels of 200, and that's would be over, it can do 500 down on the bottom side of this, so that's just over paneling it by 100 watts right there. I plan on doing it to both sides. I'll be four, or what is that, 1400 watts there? Five, five, 1600. That's gonna be 1600 watts on this side over here that I have coming in total. And it'll be charging pretty fast then. I got the dog unit back over here. Well, everything's nice and neat under the bed. I, eventually, I would I would like to uh, see, it, does, it, says they, it says they do pass through charging. So I really would like to get another B300 battery unit and see if I can attach it into this battery ports here and just parallel them, you know, because I was reading it, do they do parallel and see if that, see if it charges that way. 
charge it up at 100% at the wall real quick at a buddy's house and then bring it in so they're all at 100 and then have hook up more solar panels to it if it works the wires are a little bit of a mess right here that's just because that's extra it's an extra length wire this is the solar panel I mean no that's the solar that's the what is that wind charger is what that is and the batteries are fully charged that's what that light indicates is a battery light I got all the cables trying to wrapped up over here and labeled each one's labeled with a little piece of um, tape and wrote on there what they go to who they're connected to I plan on once I get done running all the solar panels I want through there I'm gonna seal that up with some good stuff probably just move the cables all to one side and seal it in there and then do the same thing from the bottom well that's how I got the blue eddies hooked up everybody um, you are gonna need a um, the, the DC enhancer charger for the uh, if you want to do this this part right here the solar panels into this run the extra 500 in there or I'm doing 600 for over panel and 100 watts so I'm, and those are about 130 bucks I, I believe on the website so you're gonna want to pick yourself up a couple of those if you're doing this like me that's basically what I have going on here I need I got another solar panel on the way here it'll be here in a couple days another 210 watt solar panel I plan on just hooking that up to this for now and then I'll be at 410 once I get uh, all I want, you know, once I get these over paneled, I'll probably end up ordering another DC enhanced charger and then start paneling this one out. And then when I'll just order a couple more and do these these little ports last right here. It says they can do 12 to 60 volt DC input. So you can over panel these. Says it only does 200 watts of input i'm going to put 400 on there so they get a constant 200 watts of input as soon as the sun comes up that way it's charging the goal is here everybody is that i can run the ac unit at the same time i'm charging the batteries right now i can charge this this is charging without running the ac unit it's charging them all up let's see if i can clear this cleared up it is charging them up all the way to about from zero to 69, 51, and 51. And the, you know, the BMS is balancing it out. Battery management system there, making it an even 57. So it's because when I'm trying to charge it during the day, if I'm running that solar, the uh, AC unit is sitting there pulling dang near the same amount of solar panels I got going into this thing. I got 900 on this side and then I got 450 on this side it's 1300 so I'm basically charging it at 300 watts during the day so yeah I need to get some more solar panels <laughs> and we'll be set um, everybody remember if you enjoyed the video like subscribe and until next time everyone <laughs>